Hi, I'm Aaron Dengis with the Help the Hellbender Initiative. I'm here along the Blue River, the only part of Indiana where hellbenders can still be found. Anglers fishing along this river are at risk of accidentally catching a hellbender, so it's important that they know what to do if they catch one. Anglers aren't the only threat to hellbenders on this river. Paddlers can also be harmful if they aren't careful. I'm going to talk to some of the residents here in Milltown, Indiana to find out what anglers and paddlers can do to do their part to help the hellbender. My name is Tom Waters. I live in New Albany, Indiana. Uh, I do reclamation work in Western Kentucky right now. I am uh, Bob Sautel, locally known as Ranger Bob. I work for DNR, but I'm also uh, part of a Black Angus herd operation. If you hook a hellbender, um, most times you're going to be fishing at night, you're going to be fishing on the bottom and fishing with live bait. What do you do when you catch a hellbender? The worst thing you can do is try and disengage the hook. The best thing you can do is cut the line as close to the hook as you can and let that hook dissolve naturally uh, in the next few days. Try to keep it in the water and uh, uh, avoid putting it up on the bank. They're uh, ugly, but they're, they're virtually harmless. The best thing to do is leave them in the water, cut the line, and release them. One of the best things you can do after you catch a hellbender and releasing it properly, take that extra time and report it to DNR. Uh, you can report it at the DNR State Park office at Obana Wood State Park. You can use the dnr.in.gov. Or visit the website at www.helpthehellbender.org. A lot of people uh, kayak and canoe on Blue River. Um, what you should remember when you're doing it this is in a very delicate environment and uh, when you're uh, canoeing and, and particularly at the rapids to be as gentle as you can on the environment and, and on the, the rocks and structure to avoid damaging their habitat. One thing is if the water is extremely low, don't go. The act of scraping canoes and uh, dislodging boulders, gravel, all disrupts that natural habitat. So pick the right time to go. Don't scrape your boat on the bottom. Uh, don't construct chutes and riffles. Uh, don't do those things that will uh, change that natural landscape of the riverbed. Help take care of what we got. If you do that, the, the end results, the hellbenders do better, the fishing's better, your experience is better. Everyone can do their part to help the hellbender. If you're fishing and catch one, make sure to cut the line and report a sighting. If you're paddling, carry your boat across shallow water instead of dragging it through the rocks at the bottom, and don't dig chutes. If we all keep this in mind, we can help keep the hellbenders safe here on the Blue River, as well as all across the country.